Next up from Rutgers University is head coach Steve Peichel. Coach Peichel is entering his eighth season with the Scarlet Knights after leading them to a third consecutive postseason appearance for the first time in school history. Coach Peichel, we'll begin with your opening statement. Thank you very much. It's great to see everybody. This is an exciting time of the year, uh, getting back out here and meeting with all the media. Um, first, I want to uh, welcome and congratulate Tony Petiti, our new commissioner. He's done an unbelievable job. It's a tough job, um, but I really appreciate his work and, and look forward to working with him. Uh, I want to welcome Mike Rhodes to the league. One of the uh, great coaches in college basketball, great job at VCU and all his stops, and he'll do a great job at Penn State. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be here for year eight. I think we have a chance to be really, a really good basketball team. I'm excited about Rutgers University. A lot of great things happening on our campus, including my two kids graduating here in December from Rutgers. Um, and, uh, it's just truly a special time. We're ranked 15th among public universities in US News and World Report. Uh, the campus is jumping. We've sold out all of our games for the year. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a tremendous year. I have three players here uh, with me on this trip. I would have taken more too, but three. Uh, we brought Cliff is back for his senior year. He uh, came back to graduate too, which is refreshing in this day and age, and um, really excited. I think he's one of the best big guys in the country. Um, Mawat Mag is also here. I think he's one of the best defenders in the country. He'll be back from his injury, which he suffered in the middle of the season last year. Kind of hurt us down the stretch. And then Andre Hyatt, those are our captains. And Andre uh, averaged eight and a half, almost nine points a game last year, and, and is going to have a breakthrough senior year. He's been terrific. We had a summer tour. He led us in scoring the, every game. Uh, he's been terrific in practice. He's really taken his game to the next level. And we have another guy, Oscar Palmquist, not here with us, but a senior that's been with me through a lot of, uh, a lot of wins and, and, and uh, a lot of exciting times at Rutgers. So we're really excited. We've added some newcomers. We jumped in the portal and got some really good players. We got a freshman class that I think is, is very, very good. And um, we're just looking forward to another great year. Uh, Jersey Mike's will be jumping. And... Uh, in the best league in the country too. And I continue to say that. And uh, uh, the coaches, I get a chance to see them all and, and uh, I just get your competitive juices going. But, you know, Greg Gard's done a great job where he is and Tom Izzo and these teams are tough. Uh, going to their gyms is hard. And, and uh, we've added four more and I want to welcome them into the league too with Oregon, Washington and UCLA and USC and other four guys, great coaches and programs. Uh, added to this already great league. So we're looking forward to competing and uh, looking forward to an exciting season. Thank you, Coach. We'll open the floor now for questions. Back right, Coach. Back right? Yeah. Hey, 24-7. Uh, your recruiting is just through the roof right now. Like, what has made you guys resonate on the trail? What do you say about your staff and what they've been able to make Rutgers a destination for some of the you know, best players in college basketball? First of all, I'm lucky my staff didn't go in the portal. So that's the most important thing. Um, I have a fantastic staff, and, and Brandon Knight is a special coach. Uh, he's been with me for eight years and uh, done a great job. And TJ Thompson, probably one of the you know, great young coaches in college basketball right now. But... Um, you know, I'm very fortunate. Um, our university is exploding. I mean, Rutgers is, I mean, the campus is beautiful. New buildings going up. Pat Hobbs doing a fantastic job. President Holloway uh, ranked 15th in the country in public university. So um, it's an awesome place. It really is. I'm just blessed. I'm here at the right time. Uh, we got a great practice facility. Um, we graduate everyone in our program. Um, and guys get better, and uh, we're just lucky. We've been on the trail and, and, and working hard, and um, our freshman class this year are really good, really good, and, and I think we do a, a really good job. Again, my staff gets all the credit. Uh, we have a new, new coach on our staff, too, Marlon Williamson, who's doing a great job, but we develop players. We graduate them, and uh, you, you know, I hope we continue to do that, but uh, I'm a product of good timing at Rutgers. The university is a good place. Adam Jardy with the Columbus Dispatch. When you talk about developing players, um, as you've done that and, and built your roster the way you have, how big 
in general has that growth from freshman year to sophomore year proven to be for some of your guys? I mean, I think it's really been been huge for us. Um, we currently have three guys in our sophomore class, Derek Simpson, and Wolf Hawk, a, a big guy out of Cleveland, and Antonio Cho, a uh, player out of Buffalo, 6'10". Um, if you see, saw them last year at this time, and now when you come to our practice and see them, they are completely new players. You know, they use the year, they use the summer, they worked hard, um, their bodies have developed. Um, I think you'll see new players, those three guys in particular. Um, but development is a huge part, I think, of every program. And, and luckily, they stayed. You know, a lot of time is spent on the guys that leave. These guys stayed. More time needs to be written about the guys that stay um, and, and complete the deal and get better and, and buy into your program. And we're certainly blessed that we had a lot of guys, you know, decide to stay and keep working and get better. Mike DeCourcy from Sporting News. Steve, uh, you lost several of the players who handled the basketball for you a lot last year and in the years previous. What did the international tour teach you about how your offense can not only uh, withstand those losses but improve uh, into this season? Yeah, I mean, uh, the international tour was great for a lot of reasons. We went to Africa and Portugal. Um, the, the bonding, the time you spend with each other, but doing different things too off the court. I just think it's tremendous. If you ever get a chance to go to those those countries, um, you really realize too how fortunate we are, you know, here. And I think our players really realize that too. But um, the off season's been great. We have a player, Noah Fernandez from UMass, who was their leading scorer and is a really good player. Um, he'll handle the ball a great deal. Um, Derek Simpson's electric. He's fast. He can play. And we have a, a freshman, Jamichael Davis, out of Georgia, who is as fast as, of a player as we've ever had you know, in the program and, and doing a really good job. Uh, and then we have Gavin Griffiths, too, who comes in as the highest ranked guy that I've ever recruited at Rutgers. And he's 6'9", he's a little different. He can really shoot it and really athletic. But we got a lot of ball handlers. I think we really shoot the ball at a high level now, so that'll be different for us. I always worry, you know, we lost the National Defensive Player of the Year, Caleb McConnells with Oklahoma City Thunder and a really good player. Um, but I, I'm going to make sure they play defense. That's one thing that I know. But we're really scoring the ball at a high level, and, and we're very athletic, and we're deep. So I like the fact we can go 11, 12 deep this year. We really didn't have that kind of depth the last couple of years. So when we got an injury, it hurt us. But the offseason is so important. we got great chemistry. I take my time in the portal. I bring in great kids you know, that fit our culture. And um, we got some of those, and, and we're excited about what they can bring. Steve, John Fanta from Fox Sports, good morning. Uh, good morning. You've talked about Andre Hyatt and how he is due for an even bigger breakout for this program. Why? Well, I mean, he, you know, he's a top 50 player out of high school, first and foremost. He went to LSU. Um, he transferred in. This is year three for him. Um, you know, I just think when players graduate or leave, the opportunity changes, and he has taken huge advantage of that. He always could score. Um, now he's doing a lot of things for us. He's in great shape, so by far in great shape. He's also getting his master's degree, too. He's an awesome kid. Um, he's taking on leadership roles. He's going to have a fantastic season. He really is, and, and very confident in his ability to help us uh, a lot this year. And he's a real tough matchup. I mean, he's, he's built. He's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and strong. He could play the three, the two, the four, you know, so I could move him around. But he's going to have a good season for us, and, and pleased he came back. Questions for Coach Peichel. Awesome. All right, Coach, thank you so and much for your so time. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.